Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here and I am back to talk about Linux Brew. So in the last video, I showed you how to install the app and uh, there's a descriptive, interesting article in that video in the description for that uh, where you can learn how to install it. But in this video, we're gonna show you how to use it. So Homebrew, uh, as you may already know, is a package manager that you can use to install Windows stuff or Linux stuff on from the homebrew repository. So let's do let's do that. So we can do brew search and this will list to us everything that's available. So let's see what do I want? There's a lot of different stuff here. Mostly it's just for programmers or or whatever. Uh, so I'm not a programmer, but uh, let's get Wireshark. So I remember I did a video on how to install Wireshark. Little known fact, you can actually install Wireshark through Homebrew. So interesting. Brew install Wireshark. And it's that easy. It will go through, search for it, update Homebrew, and do what it's got to do. It'll download everything that you need. So just got to sit back and be patient. All right. So now that Homebrew is updated, we can see it's downloading a whole bunch of dependencies. Now, each program is going to have different amounts of dependencies, but uh, if you look up here, you can see the Wireshark needs NCurses, CMake, and a bunch of other things. And uh, it downloads, they're all little tar packages, and it goes into the configured area, and if you look, the configured package area is in this, area, this folder here, under Seller. And the dependencies go into the seller and the apps go into the bin and it's all really neat and useful. So I will be right back. All right, so now that the dependencies are taken care of, it's gonna go ahead and build the source code for Wireshark. Now, I can't wait around all day to get it working, but basically, if you wanna install a program on the homebrew system, all you need to do is do brew search and you can enter a keyword after brew search, or you can just do just the search command in general, and this will show you all of the packages available. And uh, if you check the article that I wrote, it also has information on where you can use grab to sort out keywords better, or use the more command to uh, to make it more paginated, like uh, you know one at a time instead of just this big list of stuff on two sides. And you can also update if you do uh, show the brew system here with the brew upgrade command and you can use a brew update to update your system so the brew platform itself and uh, that is how you use it if you want more information on how to use brew and homebrew and linux brew and all of that please check out the link in the description so I'll see you guys in the next video